Welcome to part two of our Tin Can Owl art. Um, so I decided that the I was working on a cookie sheet, but it's pretty dark, so I put a piece of white paper under it. I think it'll be easier for you to see. So, so far we have our tin can that has been cleaned with the paper taken off. And then we've wrapped some ribbon and some felt around it because this is the stomach of the bird. We've also cut out the back of the bird and the wings, so it's kind of like a round wing. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach the wings to the bird like that. And you can use probably um, glue stick would be fine. I'm going to use white liquid glue because it might be something you all have. I'm not going to put a ton on, but I'm going to follow the perimeter. And the perimeter is the outside edge of any object, so I'm following the outside edge. And then I'm going to put a little bit now of streaking in the center. Looks like the Canucks logo. You can use a hot glue gun as well. And I'm sure that with, if this material is light enough, a glue stick will probably work as well. So then I'm going to take my tin can and sit it in the center. Okay, and I'm going to roll a little bit and pull. And then I'm just going to tap it down the best I can so that those wings are on your can. There you go. And the glue, if you put it too much glue, it could seep through, but that's okay. You can't really tell where I put the glue. And you can see that the bird's tummy is right there. So from there, we're going to work up top. We're going to start... Um, we're going to work on the eyeball, so I'm using two um, milk, BC milk um, lids, and I do have googly eyes, so I'm going to use, and I'm going to use a hot glue gun for that part, okay? If you don't have googly eyes, um, I'll certainly show you an option, but first I'm going to, I have just a scrap piece of um, orange felt, and I'm going to turn that into the beak. And the beak is going to go right in here. I think I'm only going to do the edges of the beak so that it's a little more dimensional. I'm going to see what it looks like with the ear or the eyes. So you have to do a little bit of planning here so that you put the beak in the right spot. Your eyes maybe want to go up a little bit. So my beak, I am going to use a hot glue gun just because I'm the art teacher and I can. But if you can't, liquid glue will work. Mess, hey? um, so I'm going to put glue just on these edges there for now. And it's hot. Like If you see my hand, I have scars from glue. So just be very careful or get an adult to help. I'd rather the adult burn themselves than you. So notice with the glue, I push it so that the beak has a bit of dimension. If you're using liquid glue, you have to do what I did, had to do when I was 10 years old. You sit and hold. You sit and hold. So you put glue there and glue there, and you sit and hold, and you sit and hold until it stays enough that you can remove your fingers. Okay? If, you're, if you want your beak to be flat, that might be easier to glue, then that's totally fine. So now I'm taking a look, and there's my eyeballs. They're going to go on like that quite close together. So one eyeball, and again, I'm using my glue gun because I can. You could even use tape. Tape might be a good um, easy way to put the eyeballs on. Liquid glue, again, you might just have to sit and hold, though. The glue gun revolutionized my life when it came out because I was doing crafts many, many moons ago. I didn't have a glue gun as a kid. And yeah, I sat and hold, held for a long time. <laughs> so, and it's hot. Like, I'd push there. That's hot. So I'm going to glue my googly eyes in there. If you don't have a googly eye, there's lots you could do. Well, first of all, if you look at this really closely, there is a natural eye in the cap so you could do you could even color this with a felt there's a little pupil right there so you could work with that or you could also take some felt and cut a circle out 
or a piece of white paper and glue it in and then glue a black piece of felt or even a pom-pom. So there's an option for one eyeball. But because I have googly eyes, I'm going to use them. And I'm going to use my glue gun again. Again, liquid glue would work. It would just take a bit longer for it to adhere. One googly eye in there. One googly eye in there. So sometimes when the heat gets the pupil to stick a little bit, but it should unstick. Starting to look like an owl. So cute. So from there, um, something I did notice is I've got, um, in my previous video, we were making crafts out of the pull tabs for cans. So I thought, oh, well maybe I can use two pull tabs for the bird's feet. So I'm going to glue those on. I colored them already. Just a way to add very careful and I'm not going to let it come past the edge because then it won't sit it has to stay flush with the bottom of the can youch youch hot be hot there we go so look oh now one thing I want you to notice is in here, the tin can, when I cut it off, we don't have, we have a manual tin can um, cutter, um, can opener, so this little piece is sharp, so I did, I meant to do this at the beginning, but you need to get an adult or maybe a pair of pliers and just flatten that sharp end, because you don't want any sharp edges uh, when you're working with it, and there's another little sharp edge right in there. If you flatten them down, then it won't hurt your fingers. Another thing you could do what is put another piece of material around the edge. So the owl is definitely coming along. So from here, you're just going to put some decorations on the owl. Um, the owl in the video had some glitter on it. So I'm going to clear off my piece of paper. And I'm going to do some glittering. Now to glitter and to keep it clean, I always work on a folded piece of paper because then you can use that as a funnel to bring the glitter back and put it back in your jar. I have some blue glitter, like light greeny blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my liquid glue and I'm going to do some patterns. Whoosh. Doesn't have to be perfect. And it really isn't perfect. <laughs> so there's two strings. And then I'm just going to squish the glitter on. Now, mums get mad at glitter because it gets all over the house. But if you do it over a piece of paper, then the extra glitter, especially fold it first, will fall on to the piece of paper. And then we can put the glitter back into the jar. You really want to cover all that glue. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. And you might even have to blow. And once the glitter is dry, it'll really show up. So from here, it's a bit fussy. I need to take off the lid. And you may need someone to help you do this. I'm not showing you the safest way. I actually may not be able to get it opened. Um, but what you basically do is you fold the paper and you funnel it back in. Okay, so I'm going to just put it over there for now. And I'm going to grab another piece of paper. I'm going to put some more glue. I'm trying to go a little bit fast so my glue may not be as careful as your glue. Yeah. 
and I'm, it's hard to videotape. I'm trying to pay attention to how crazy it is on the videotape. <laughs> so my other glitter is silver. Same thing, or another thing is you could take the lid off before you, it gets a little bit messier if you do that. So again, lots of glitter. If you don't have glitter, you could fa um, glue on zigzags of material. Uh, you could glue pom-poms on. Lots of different things that you could glue. And once the glitter dries, it'll be very sparkly and fun. I do have pom-poms that I think I might put a few on as well. But pretty much, your owl is done. Pretty cute little owl. So once you've had it all finished and ready to go, you can start using it. Hold all the fabulous art supplies that you have. And there you go. Your owl tin can holder. Remember, yours looks like yours, mine looks like mine. I bet you have lots of different ideas of how to decorate it. I think some pom-poms or maybe some stripes of felt on the back are needed. Um, but it's yours and I hope you enjoy it. Again, lots of adjustments if you don't have the supplies. Thanks for watching my tin can art. See you later, alligators.